often in sport we don't talk much about policy and being on the policy agenda. What do you mean by that when you say let's get sport on the public policy agenda? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a whole process. You know, the, the public policy um, process is, is not just during elections. I mean, elections are one small window in and happen to focus people's attention for a limited period of time so you can, it's a good place to start. And one of our colleagues talked about the elect this election as the end of the beginning, and, and he's right. It, it, it's a good way to kickstart us into a longer term public policy process. And that means um, describing how sport can meet um, a range of, of public priorities that governments will craft and shape as part of their business. And sport policy is, is, is already a part of that. It's a small part of that. And it could grow in scope. It could reach other parts of a government that maybe don't, don't normally turn to sports systems to assist in, in, in their objectives. But the, the root of it, and I think the, the learning from Sport Matters, is that the citizen associations that are our sport organizations can and should, and in a, almost, I would say, have a responsibility now, knowing what sport can do, to generate public policy options, not to be the passive recipients of government choices that are made simply through the elected officials and, and the public service that serves them and, and, and us, but to be creative and productive and um, active in engaging those officials throughout the year in a whole series of options. Why? Because we know and, and have um, we know what we're fully implicated in, <laughs> right? We know the experience of volunteers. We, we know the, the, the scenario that's facing our public infrastructures. We know what an integrated you know, sports system can do for our athletes and coaches. We, we are living that all the time. And it isn't a service sector where there are public servants throughout the sector delivering it. That doesn't exist. It's our volunteers, our associations, and um, if we turn our attention to public policy, we will produce options that governments will clamor over. They'll, they'll seek them out. Different political parties will, will discover good options that we've provided and recognize their own thinking in them. And, and there have been lots of examples of how that's already playing out. In the provincial campaign, we're just wrapping up as well as in past federal campaigns. Um, but we can't, you know, the, you use a sport analogy, if we stay on the sidelines, you know, then, then we won't be in the game. You know, we won't we won't be a part of that, um, that, that public policy formation, let alone the outcomes that, that, that come from it. Is there a little handbook for public policy? I think if you talk to a sport person and you ask them to create a new technical way to move from point A to point B, they're all over it, eh? and they can figure this out, and they've got lots of tools in their toolkit to draw from. But when it comes to public policy, I think a, a lot of us, because we haven't done much of that, just right. say, how do, you, how do you even do that? Is well, it really just stating clearly what you need and what some of the impacts of what you're doing are, or what? It, well, there, there's a couple answers. It's messy, right? It, it, the public policy process is not linear. It's not rules-based. It doesn't have the, the tidy, um, kind of organization that we're used to in our sector. And, but it does have some things that are, we're very used to. It's competitive. You know, so you know, we understand competition and, and we know how to respect our, our competitor and get in the game. So, that, so that's a good thing. Um, it's event-based. There are times throughout the year that you can count on the public policy process to be on high alert and being much more active. Right, I mean, soon after the election, we know there'll be a cabinet formed. That's part of the public policy process. There'll be a speech from the throne, a key signal that where the government's going to go on public policy. There'll be um, uh, uh, likely a review process leading into a budget developed. And those are things we can mark on our calendar like we mark down sport events. Um, we can also train on being effective in, in the public policy game, just like we practice in, you know, our, our back end. And, and, and that means it, the, the mess becomes a little more clear, and you realize the kind of 
um, policy materials that will help you and the opportunities you'll want to create that will help you to connect with a public servant or a, a political, someone from the political side of the, the, the process. Um, and, and, and how to engage the public, how to engage the media, you know, the, the dimensions of, of, of being involved. So, you know, I, I, there, you, you can, you can be, there, there do exist, you know, Public Policy 101, you know, you, you can, you can uh, get involved in that and, uh, and I think we can help. Sport Matters can help in creating some, some, some policy capacity across the sector that makes it, makes it easier and makes it fit with our way of, of thinking and, and the, uh, the culture that we've, we've developed in sport camp.